Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you ready for a bedtime story? Well, this story is called John, who is scared of everything. Once upon a time, there was a little boy called John, and he lived in a very small house with three brothers and sisters, and a mum and dad, of course. And one day, in the morning, when they were all waking up to go to school, John couldn't open his eyes. Well, he actually opened one, but he was so scared, he had to close it again. And he started to scream. And his little brother and sister came running into the room. What's wrong, John? I'm scared, he said. Scared of what? Scared of everything. Don't be silly. What do you mean you're scared of everything? They said. Well, when I opened my eye, I just felt really scared. Go and get mommy and daddy quickly. So they ran into the living room and grabbed daddy, who was eating his breakfast at the table and reading the newspaper. They shouted at mommy, who was boiling the eggs for the day's breakfast. And they dropped everything and ran to the bedroom. What's wrong, John? John was in tears. His eyes closed tight. I'm scared. Scared of what? said Daddy. Scared of everything. Oh, don't be silly, said Mummy. And she grabbed one of his hands that was covering his eyes and yanked it away. Well, this made him cry even more. Leave him, said Daddy. I think he's got something in his eyes. Yes, it must be something in his eyes. Let's have a look. So Dad held his hands down and Mum had a quick look. But there was nothing. No dirt or sand or fingernails from his sister or anything like that. But what are you scared of? I don't know, said John. I'm just scared of everything. Well, this is no good. You're going to miss the bus if you don't go to school. Well... I can't go to school, I'm scared to put my clothes on. I'm scared of everything, said John. <laughs> well, Daddy took the two other sisters and brothers, sent them to school, and he came back in the bedroom where Mummy was sitting there, John still in the bed with his eyes closed. Well, said Mum, I got him to open one eye, the other one, but he screamed so loud, I think I burst my eardrum. <laughs> And Daddy said, come on, let me have a look. So he sat down, and he started to rub John's head, and his belly, and he started to rub his legs as well, because sometimes, sometimes when he's been playing outside a lot, his legs hurt when he sleeps. And so his dad always rubs his legs to make them nice and, well, make them hurt less. So as he was rubbing his head, he said, do you want to tell me about it? Have you had a bad dream? Did you hurt your eyes? What is it you're scared of? Can you tell me? And slowly, John opened the other eye and he screamed again. I'm scared. Well, said Daddy, this is no good. So he gave John a pair of sunglasses and put his clothes on. Daddy had to brush his teeth because John couldn't open his eyes to brush his teeth. And he was quite petrified of everything. So, once he'd gotten, finally gotten dressed, and had at least a little spoonful of breakfast, Daddy and Mummy put John in the car, and took him all the way to the hospital to see the doctor. The doctor sat John down and said, Okay, boy, what's wrong with you? I'm scared. I'm scared to open my eyes, because every time I open my eyes, I just get very, very scared. Hmm, said the doctor. So are you scared now? A little bit, but it's dark, because my eyes are closed. And I can't really see anything. But when I open my eyes, I just feel very, very scared. Hmm. Well, this is very strange, said the doctor. I'm not sure what we can do about this. I think I'm just going to have to send you home, because I don't have any medicine for making boys not scared. 
Hmm. Mommy and Daddy, why don't you just take him home and monitor his progress and see if he just gets better by himself. And here's some eye patches. And here's a bit of cream because his eyes look quite red. Make sure he drinks lots of water and keep him well fed. And just take him off school for this week. Yes, doctor, said Mummy. And so they put the eye patches on, put him back in the car, and took him home. Well, he laid in bed all afternoon until his brother and sisters ran back in from school, jumped on his bed. Are you still scared, John? Oh my gosh, I think you just don't want to go to school. No, I'm just scared. Is it because you don't like Mrs. Heartsick? Is that why? Or what about Mrs. Cahoon? No, I really love those teachers. Well, maybe you don't like the lunch on Mondays, do you? No, I love the lunch. Well then, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm quite just scared of being scared now. I want to go to school. And so, Daddy had actually taken the day off work. And he'd searched all on the internet for boys who were scared like John. And he found out that there were quite a few. And there was one way that a special doctor in Brazil was curing all these boys. And it was by getting them to write down what they were scared of. Hmm, thought Daddy. So, Daddy went on the internet and he found the book. And the book was called Fear Setting. Hmm, sounds interesting, said Daddy. So he ordered it, and when it came, he sat down with John. And he said, right, John, what I want you to do, you've had a few days to think about it now. I want you to write down here, what is the worst thing that you're being scared of? And John had to think about it for a while. And then he wrote down ten things he was scared of. Daddy was quite surprised at some of them. Oh my gosh, I was scared of those as well. Now, do you think any of these could really happen? Maybe, said John. Well, next what you've got to do is, you've got to write down what you would do to stop it from happening. Oh, well that's a bit tough. Yeah, well it's not meant to be easy, you're not going to fix this in a minute. And so Daddy and John talked about it for about an hour. And they wrote down all the ways that they could stop all the bad things from happening. Oof, well, they took a rest that night. And they picked it up the next day. Right, said Dad. So you've written, you've written down all the worst things. And now you've written down all the ways that you can stop it from happening. What's next? Well... The next bit is, what happens if all those bad things do happen? What can we do to fix it? And so they spent quite a while working out all the different ways that they could fix or repair the things that would happen if the worst things happen. Oh, well, that was enough for that day. So the next day, they turned onto the next page. Oh, this sounds a bit better. Let's have a look. So Daddy asked John, Well, if you opened your eyes and you tackled all these bad things, what's the best thing or some of the positive things that could happen? Oh, well, that made John feel a bit better because he was thinking about all the possible benefits and the good things that could happen if he challenged himself and took the action and made those decisions. Oh, that felt him much better, so after breakfast, they went on to the next part, which was, what would happen if you kept your eyes closed forever? Oh, well, that made John really think about it. And he thought, what if I keep my eyes closed forever? Well, I might not see my sisters and brothers growing up, and... You know, I'll never see my mum and dad's face changing and, well, I won't be able to draw any pictures again and I might forget the colours of the rainbow. 
I won't forget the names, but maybe I'll forget what they look like. And maybe if I leave it long enough and I open my eyes when I'm 50, I might be blind. Well, said Daddy, I think that should scare you a little bit. If you don't do anything, that could be worse than even the worst things happening sometimes. You're right, said John. And then John said, what's next? And Daddy said, well, there's a question here. It says, has anybody else ever worked this out? And John says, how do I know? I just woke up the other week, scared, scared of everything. And Daddy said, well, when I was searching on the internet, I did find out there are lots of kids like you. Lots, I mean, about five or ten. Really, said John. How did they work it out? Well, they work through this book that we're doing now. Oh, thank you, Dad. I'm so grateful for you. Well, I'm grateful for you as well, son. But let's finish this and see what happens. And so, with that, John had to write down two numbers. He had to write down a number which represented all the scary, painful things. And then a number that represented all the good things that could happen if he just opened his eyes. Well, it seemed that he got like a number four for the bad and a number eight for the good things. And so he said, well, what does that mean? And Daddy said, well, it seems that the highest number is a winner and he should just take the decision. Well, I got an eight. I got an eight, so that means I have to open my eyes. Yes, it does. And we spent three days doing this. And you've thought about all the worst things that you're scared of. And you've thought about all the good things that could happen if you open your eyes. And you've thought about what will happen if you just keep your eyes closed and don't do anything. And with that, John opened his eyes and smiled at his dad, who was crying. The end.